Okay, did I say a bump in the road? Yes, I did. <clears throat> right, so what we've got so far is uh, we ended with the D major arpeggio, which goes... Or... Right, next phase is... The vibrato is only on, on, on one note. And then it goes down. So it's like... I don't know if uh, gentle is a word that you would use in the middle of this solo, but the, the letting down of the bend is quite gentle. So we've got... And here it comes, right? Now, the big climb, um, or what probably most of us would call the fast bit, can be written out in, in a fairly simple manner, but as I alluded to in the last video, there is a little bump in the road. Um, <clears throat> now, it's lots of triplets stacked on top of each other, and it, it's kind of similar in a way to... Gary Moore going. You know that kind of line that climbs? You know that sort of thing, you hear it in out in the fields and stuff like that, right? So. They then play. That's the first one, right? So that is, is two triplet lines and those notes are coming off a C now every note, this is in this climb try and get into your head every single note is in G major every single note is in every note is in do a dear G major unfortunately the run starts on a C so the first line is more like, which is, as you know, C Lydian, right? But if you think of it as G major, I think it's 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 a lot easier. So here's the first two three note groupings, right? Here's the next one. That's the bump. I'll come back to that in a minute. So we've got... Here's the third one. And this is where it slows down. Right, it slows down in the D. So if you want to write that down, which is what I would do, write slow down on the D. Right, so we've got... Then, then, I kind of exaggerated it there for effect, but if you listen to it, you'll, 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 you'll see what I mean. It slows down into a very staccato bit for the last bit. Once we get to, and then this very high bend, which is B to C, right? So, you know, so far so good. Now, the little bump in the road is a timing anomaly, which, you know, may have been just a little bit of swagger, and it's a little bit of sass, or it, it, it may have just come out that way, right? Now, if you want to play those triplets, like, like merry hell, and go from here, and end up here, that's okay. You know, that's absolutely okay. But if you want to play it exactly like John Sykes, stroke Adrian Vandenberg, plays it on the record, what happens is it does this. Again, I exaggerated it for effect, but there's a very slight... So... Right? So that's our first four three-note groupings, which are coming off the C Lydian. 
then if you want you can go if your hands are much bigger than mine but it's a lot more comfortable for me to go next bit is off a G so it goes G A B and then A uh, B C easy as one two three and that's the little sass note Then I view this as a 6. So it's going up an E minor scale, 6 notes starting for this bit on the E minor. Now, I'm saying C, Lydian, G major, E minor. They are all the same notes. It just, they're just depending on which note on the, on the scale. I'm sorry to make this unnecessarily complicated. But you know, what I'm trying to say is don't get put off by that stuff. Uh, e minor is G major. E minor is C Lydian, G major is C Lydian, right? So we've got this six note E minor scale that we all know. And then we've got... And this is when it starts to stutter and swagger. And that's it. <clears throat> he says, as if I found it easy to work that out, because believe me, I did not. Um... But I think, <clears throat> I think that's a good way to look at what uh, we in the know would call the fast bit. It's just it's a row of three note groupings all on C Lydian stroke G major. Starting on a C, starting on a D, starting on a G, starting on an A, starting on a D, an E minor scale, a D. And at that point, really, you know, all you need is your foot up on the, the monitor, the Kramer Knights one, if you're Viv, and the Fernandez, if you're Adrian, and the Blacklist Paul, if you're John, and, uh, you know, tear it up. <laughs>